so here's the new roof box. It's upside down because uh, I'm trying to figure out I have to modify my rack to make it fit, which I might weld to do things or I might return a thing because it's just huge. I'll put up a picture of what it looks like on the car right now because we already test fit it. Uh, but it's a solar one. So it's got it's the Yakima Solar. They're hard to get and they're expensive this price or $1,500 or something. But it's got a solar panel on the top, which is pretty cool. So I could charge my camera equipment and my drone and, uh, you know, whatever else in there. Laptop. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this thing and modify it or get a different brand completely that's a little shorter or get the same one that I have right there, but fix. I can't really repair that. It's never going to be right. I could melt the plastic together and waterproof it and put some goop in there and repaint it, but it's never going to look right. Um, Honda has them. They're discontinued, but I think I might be able to find some, possibly. So, yeah, I don't know. So it's weird, but I had to put this eye shape thing on there just for extra support in the back because the roof box is so long. Yeah, this roof box is a lot bigger, longer. I think it's less girthy though. I think it'll look nice when I paint it red. I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna paint it red, which sections. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one, it's not bad. So yeah, it's cool because it has a solar panel on it. So I'll be able to charge items, laptops, drones, vape pens when I go to Subaru meets, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna take this box on its first test mission today. Uh, right off the bat, there's a few things I noticed. Um, it didn't come with straps. I mean, it's not a big deal, I have my own. Um, I'm gonna test out the solar panel today. It is kind of an overcasty, cloudy day, so it won't be at its optimal performance, but I'm gonna see if I could charge my GoPro with it because I'm gonna drive up to uh, Boston, Massachusetts today to pick up some S2000 parts. Uh, nothing special, it's just a wing and a lip for the S2000, uh, but they're free. So, can't beat free, figure it gives me an excuse to take a ride, it's about a two hour ride for me. Um, then I am going to, I think, go to New Hampshire and uh, stay at my friend's cabin up there tonight with Cassius. And uh, maybe visit some other friends when I'm up there. Um, I did notice that, so I have, I have these are adjustable, the, uh, the clamps. So right now I have it set all the way forward. When I move it back, it sits completely flush with the back of the car. Um, and when I move it forward, it sits over the top a little bit. I noticed it seems to be a little more stable this way. Uh, because it's clamped more in the rear here. For some reason, that seems better, but it does shake like crazy. And now my other box, I had it drilled through these holes up here, uh, so it was mounted more in the front instead of the back, so less wind is going to get under there. So we'll see if this thing makes a lot of noise, if I have to make any altercations to it um, or what. I'm Honestly, I, I like the box. I think it's, it's a good-looking box. Um, the with one USB cord here. There is a spot for another one. You can run it down either side. Um, it'll give you a very long cord. It stops right here. Uh, it does seem like decent quality, but I feel like the Thule one might actually be a little nicer. Uh, the Thule key is definitely nicer than this. This is uh, just kind of a crappy key. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. So I wanted to say that this box will look nicer once I paint it red and take the decals off and everything. Um, but the straps, even if these are all the way forward, the straps only go there. You have all that room, you can't really strap anything down. So that's a little odd. Um, it's a massive amount of room up front. You have like the back half, you could strap things down, but not the front. And I kind of want to put weight in the front to keep it down from the wind because of its design. Now, I guess it would do that on any roof rack because I essentially just made a roof rack where it would mount on this is where it would mount on any car. So we'll see. So now it is charging my GoPro. Um, so it's working. But what's odd is 
Number one, the cord is really short. Number two, it's all the way in the back. You can only charge things in the back. I don't know why they didn't put that right in the middle so you can charge things wherever. So I'm gonna have to invest in some longer USB cords. We're looking at relocating that thing. Uh, longer USB cords will obviously be the best, easiest solution. I kind of, I mean, I like the solar panel thing, but I don't know, I really, really like that roof box right there. And uh, I really regret that I hit the car lift with it. So uh, I think what would have been nice is just to customize that box and put my own solar panel on it. So the trip was a success. Um, I went up to New Hampshire, hung out with my friend, picked up the S2K parts. They fit fine in the roof box. The roof box was bouncing around a little bit, so I'm going to have to figure out a better way to mount it. Uh, but it's growing on me. I like it. I just scored. I got boxes and boxes of NSX parts and a quarter panel that's on its way out here right now. Uh, I somehow just got an entire RDX filled with boxes of uh, NSX parts for like retarded cheap. Awesome day. I think my NSX hoarding has uh, became too much. If anybody needs any parts, I have this entire loft just filled. I'm scared it's going to collapse. There's a lot of weight up here. new wall art edition. After that, my friend Chris came by to show me his brand new car. It's 2022 911 Turbo S. He uh, let me drive it. We went for a cruise. It's an amazing car. It does whatever you want it to. It's like perfect. If you guys want me to do a review of this car or any of my other friends' cars, let me know in the comments. After we went for a cruise and switched cars, I uh, broke out the camera and did a little photo shoot for him. So uh, I am going to paint the roof box. I haven't really decided the scheme for it yet. Um, and while I'm at it, my car needs some paint too. Somebody backed into my bumper uh, at a mall and cracked it originally and I hit it with a sticker, a decal, the one that says hustle on the back, so I'm going to take that off. But then when the trailer got ripped off, uh, the paint really got messed up then. But uh, for NSXs, there's a lot of different kinds of reds. There's Formula Red and there's New Formula Red, but there's variations of each. Now, my 96, my Targa, has more of a yellowish tint to it, and getting to match the paint is very difficult. I had a friend who did it once. Um, he made a perfect match, which he painted my carbon fiber hood with. Uh, but then he stored it in the computer, and their computers crashed at the shop, so they lost it. Um, and he no longer works there anymore. So I've been running around the paint stores trying to get matches and not really having any luck. Um, I'm trying two more right now on some uh, test cards uh, to see if I can get it down. And then I think what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be painting and everything in, in the roof box, I'm going to do my side skirts, which have some cracks. I'll need to do some body work on those, and as well as the bumper. But all of these are actually different shades. So those, this, that's a Mitsubishi color. I got a Volkswagen color that the spectrometer said was a good match. 
I have all these. By the way, this box right here, that's $300 worth of product, so paint is expensive. Um, and then out here, these are the two two different variants as well that I'm trying out because my other ones didn't match. Thanks, Cash. This sounds great. So this one is a yellow variant, and this one is a more yellow variant. So uh, I'm testing those right now. I've put three coats down so far. I'm not sure if you're supposed to prime these before you do it. If anybody knows that does auto body, let me know in the comments if uh, I'm supposed to prime the, the color chips before you put down your coats. Um, I don't think so because the reason for the checker is to be able to count how many coats it takes for full coverage. But yeah, let me know in the comments if I'm right about that or wrong. It took me nine coats to get full coverage. All right, so I wasn't quite sure about this, the color schemes, where I was gonna do red and where I was gonna leave black, but uh, I think this is pretty much it. So this right here is gonna be all red. The letters are gonna remain black chrome. The S is gonna be blue. And then this is all gonna be black up here. Um, and then in here, I'll do red around the solar panel. Um, so yeah, hopefully it comes out good. I was gonna do a black like pinstripe in between this and this. So this is gonna be red, black pinstripe, and then uh, red here. But it just looked like extra work and I thought it might make it look too busy. So I'm trying to imagine what it's gonna look like. It should be nice. I think leaving more black on the top will make it look sleeker too. Uh, the bigger and redder it is, it's just gonna look more bulky and kinda, cause it is a big bulky box. So I'm trying to make it uh, look I don't know, sleeker, I guess. So hopefully this comes out okay. All right, so I was debating taking the letters off and then painting and then putting the letters back on with some uh, emblem adhesive, but I ran out of emblem adhesive, didn't feel like going to the store, so I just did this with an X-Acto knife. Came out pretty good, but I was never really sure what the right way to do is. I know obviously sometimes it's better to take it off and paint and then put them back on, but this was each individual letter. Uh, so then I also came up with another change. I figured less taping, uh, it'll be less busy looking and less paint if I decide to not paint this red and leave it black. So I was going to do this part red and then this part black, but I decided to uh, just do this for now. I figure I could always add the red later, but I'm kind of thinking if I did do red on there, it just might look too busy. Yeah, so I had debated uh, taking these completely off and just debadging it. Then I thought about... You know taking them off debadging it and then putting them back on over the red with the black um i ended up just taping them but uh i'd also thought about just color matching them and going over them with the red so anyway we'll see how it comes out so because it's uh plastic which is shiny slippery and non-porous and i'm not going to scuff it up i'm going to use this bulldog adhesion promoter so I just sprayed on the adhesion promoter, makes it look wet. Uh, I let it dry, it'll kind of dry to like a matte film finish, I believe if my memory serves me correctly. And uh, then I will prime everything. So I have a lot of old primers and paints and I believe I'm gonna go with one of these two. I still haven't exactly decided. They're both not perfect matches to the car but they're both just about the same shade off and they're both very close. So I'm gonna use all this old stuff. Like for example, I have a Mitsubishi red that was really close and I'm gonna use all that stuff just to get as much coverage because red does not cover very well. And I'm gonna use up my old primer just to get rid of it. And then I'll move on to the actual color match stuff or what I tried to color match. And then I will finish off the last coat with one of these two that match. All covered in primer. I think, can't really see anymore because it's getting dark out. So I'm gonna call it a night. And then tomorrow I will finish up the color and then I might wait to do the clear because um, I want to start doing the bumpers and the side skirts and uh, well, bumper and side skirts to kind of catch up and do everything all at once. So I just painted it with a Mitsubishi red. Uh, and that was the first dust it. Then I went over with a different red I had that if you hold a colored chip up to the car, it matches, but then when you actually spray it out, for some reason, it's a slightly different shade. And uh, let's see, so I'm gonna finish it off with 
an actual matching color. Uh, the two that I sprayed out yesterday, uh, one of those two. I still haven't been able to decide which one's a closer match. Neither are an exact match, but they're both very similar. It's humid out, I'm sweating. Um, so I'm gonna use uh, the yellow variant, not the more yellow variant on the roof box. It's not touching any panels, so I think that one's um, less of a match, but I only have so much paint, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of it right now. It probably won't even show any difference on camera. So now it's clear coat time. Uh, this is a 2K clear. You take off this red thing, put it on the bottom, push that. You got 24 hours to use it. So uh, originally, I I don't like wasting this stuff. So if I use half a can on the box, then the other can goes to waste because you have to use it within 24 hours once you crack the bottom and it adds the hardener, the 2K part. Um, so I wanted to redo my bumper there and my side skirts so my plan was to do all the body work on this and prime everything and paint everything the roof box bumpers side skirts all at once and do clear coats because i have an issue with patience so uh waiting for paint to dry is not my favorite thing and i'm not good at waiting for things so i uh it would be good for me to go from one piece to the next uh however I really want to just get this done and go on a road trip with Cassius uh, sooner rather than later while he's in good enough health to do so. So I think I'm just going to skip the cosmetics on the car for now and just leave it how it is. Um, but it's not the nicest looking. I don't know if I can reach up high enough for you guys to see, but it's all cracked up there and stuff like that. So I'm just going to send it. And when I, I mean, it's going to get, the paint's going to get messed up if I drive on long road trips. Anyway, I'm going to get rock chips in the front and everything. So maybe I should just take care of the cosmetics when I'm done with that. I might even wrap the car, that's an idea I've been playing with. So at first I had mixed feelings about this box. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but it definitely grew on me, especially now with the color scheme. I think I made the right choice for it. It's certainly gonna come in useful. These things always do. There's not a lot of downsides to them other than I can't sneak under parking gates when I leave parking garages. And it makes it a little harder for me to get into my engine bay, but it's not impossible. I'll put it to good use. I'll keep a lot of camping stuff in there, dog food, camera equipment, gear, drones, things like that. So I'm happy with it, and it is pretty cool that it has a solar panel. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and stay tuned for more videos coming shortly. I try to release one every week. Thanks.